Hello and welcome to the Style YouTube channel about digital fashion. In today's tutorial I'll show the modeling process of the bag's buckle. You can find previous parts at the top right corner or in the description below the video. Ok, let's start working on the buckle model. Select the base and copy by moving with the pressed shift button. Place copy in the same position. Delete top modifiers and leave this part. Replace current parts to the new layer and rename it to the bag. Next, hide the base and cap geometry. Select the model and collapse its tag. Select the loop and move to the bottom of a buckle. Add one more loop. We can remove those polygons. We need to add two edges. If I add them via connect, the segment remains flat. Add turbo smooth modifier and we will get a curve shape. Select two edges, press scale and select use selection center and select Constraints Edge. If I use the Scale tool without constraint, the scale will be according to the world coordinate system. It's not what we need. With the edge constraint, I can move selected elements along the edge. Remove those polygons. Collapse the stack and add a shell modifier. It will be the inner part of the buckle. Let's copy the base one more time, move to the center and delete not useful polygons. Move the top border, central loop and the bottom. Delete side polys. Move edges. And we have a start geometry for the outer part of the buckle. If I add the shell modifier, it will extrude geometry along the normals. But we need a straight extrusion. Select border, set the constraint to none and move forward. Delete center line, select border and switch to edges. Deselect vertical edges and add bridge. Select front polys and press make planner by YX. If I turn on backface cool option, it will show that our normals are inverted. To fix it, I just add the normal modifier and collapse it. Checking the reference, we can notice that the buckle corners have roundness and a small chamfer on the edge. I add one more edit poly modifier, select poly ring and go to the edit. Select Invert or Ctrl Y and add Insert. Next select corners, add chamfer 3mm and 5 segments and insert one more time. Convert selection to vertexes and deselect those vertices and press Weld settings. Select the border loop and add a small chamfer. Clear smoothing groups and add one group. If I add a turbo smooth modifier, the geometry looks good. Repeat the process to the back part. Make insert, add a chamfer on the corners, then select the cut tool with the vertex snap and connect points. Add small chamfer. Add one smoothing group. The next step adding rivets. But before that I rename created geometry to keep the clean scene organization. Create sphere primitive. Add slice modifier. Remove bottom part. Rotate the sphere and move it to the front part of the buckle. Adjust sphere size and place it according to the reference. Add FFD 2x2x2 modifier, select control points and squish the rivet. Copy by moving with the pressed shift key and select instance. Create copy of both rivets. To finish the buckle I need one more reference image with a better resolution. I create one more square plane and drop a new image on it and rename the plane. Turn off Show Frozen in Grey option and freeze the reference layer. Next we have two cylindrical parts and two pins with uh, 24 notches. Go to the primitive step and select cone. To place cone on the surface, check on Auto Grid option. Adjust Radius 1 and Radius 2 and Height. Add Edit Poly, select top and back faces and add Insert two times. Next press Collapse. Select the loops and add chamfer. I press settings to hide them, but leave them active. Copy con model with instance mode. 
For pins I'll be using sphere primitive with 24 segments. Add slice modifier and remove the bottom. Add FFD 2x2x2 modifier, select front control points and squish a bit. Add edit poly, select border and move with the pressed shift key. Select the scale tool and use it with the pressed shift a couple of times and press collapse. Add edit poly one more time, select poly ring and press bevel settings. Select bevel by polygon, press settings. Copy and paste turbo smooth as an instance. Select edge rings and connect. Adjust the shape, copy as instance. To place the second pin copy at the cone center, press Add A and pick the cone. Continue working on the buckle, go to the front view. Add box primitive and create a rectangle shape. Move it to the front buckle part. Make editable poly. Apply transparent material to see what's going on. Hide those parts and let's work with this part. Select one edge, press ring and add chamfer. Connect those vertexes and weld them. Now we have a basic shape. Select vertexes and add connect. Select edges and add connect and set up two loops. Select those lines and press connect and set up one line. Add connect vertexes. Select the edge ring and connect. Select bottom polys and press extrude. Scale those vertexes by 1x. Add connect and scale. And scale the selection a bit. Select back polys and delete them. Select edges and press bridge. One more bridge and cap. Add one more connect for this step. Select those polys and move back like this. Add connect and move those vertexes. One more connect, select those vertexes and connect them. Add symmetry modifier to work on one part of the model. Adjust the shape to match the back radius. Select those front polys and add insert. Select edge loop and add chamfer. Select the cut tool and add lines. Select those edges and add connect. Add connect here to make sharper edges. Adjust vertexes. Select back polys and add insert. Select the cut tool and connect vertexes. Copy rivets and place them. Now our buckle is finished and we are ready to move to the belt part. Thank you for watching this video, please support uh, my channel by pressing like, subscribe if you still didn't and share the content. If you have any questions just leave a comment, I'll be glad to answer them. See you in the next video where I will cover the belt to the modeling process.